hello people in this video let us look at what works a triad is okay something three things will be there right so triad so uh, the three things are glaucum flecken okay this is one then you have iris atrophy then you have non reacting pupil slightly dilated non reacting pupil so these are the three things in the triad so the giveaway for you here is which word yes glaucum flecken glaucoma glaucoma same word here glaucum flecken so in the uh, cases after an attack of uh, acute uh, primary angle closure so here they are not even calling it glaucoma acute primary angle closure after an attack of acute angle primary angle closure you can uh, see vogt strad in the patient so you will know that this person had an acute primary angle closure so you know angle means what that and all you know so they are talking about which angle guys the irido corneal angle where is that angle here this is the irido corneal angle right this if this angle closes because of because of what will it close possibly this iris coming forward like this iris bombay things right so the and the aqueous humor will not be able to exit that this humor which was trying to exit via this angle now that aqueous humor will not be able to exit <coughs> exit so there will be increase in intraocular pressure <coughs> so they will have an attack of acute primary angle closure so after you treat those cases or you don't treat those cases or whatever uh, they they will still have these three features that is vogt striad what are those three things glaucom flecken patches of iris atrophy slightly dilated non reacting pupil due to sphincter atrophy let's look at this look at this one this is glaucom flecken glaucom flecken under the anterior lens capsule after the attack of acute angle closure these lens changes are caused by necrosis of the lens epithelium so where they are saying is all this glaucoma flecken it is inside the anterior capsule of the lens right let's look at this so lens is here this is the anterior capsule where is the anterior capsule here is the anterior capsule in which the lens is there So in this inside this anterior capsule, they are saying some glaucum flecken will be there. That is because of the lens epithelium necrosis. Necrosis of the lens epithelium, necrosis of the lens epithelium has caused this glaucum flecken to be inside the anterior capsule of the lens. Right? So that is glaucum flecken. It is anterior subcapsular lenticular opacity. So where is it? It is subcapsular, anterior subcapsular inside the anterior sub inside the anterior capsule, right? Lenticular opacity it will cause. Coming to the second in the Vogt striad, iris atrophy. Look at this, iris atrophy. So you can see all this, right? Because of that acute angle closure, there is iris atrophy. Okay. that is also in the vogt striad then the last one is slightly dilated non reacting pupil due to sphincter atrophy sphincter is not working properly looks like so there is a slightly dilated pupil non reacting pupil due to sphincter atrophy so all this happened because of what that incre uh, acute angle closure so vogt striad has done three things glaucoma flecken iris atrophy and uh, slightly dilated non reacting pupil guys remember vogt uh, this vogt word will come many times in ophthalmology so don't get confused to confuse you we will tell you what where and all vogt is there in ophthalmology vogt triad just now you saw then there is vogt white limbal girdle something vogt white limbal girdle then in pterygium the eyelet of vogt some word is there cap of the pterygium Okay, some cap of pterygium vogt. You know what pterygium is. Right? So in pterygium, you remember the parts. You have the head, and then the cap, and the neck, and all that, right? So vogt will come there also. That is another vogt. Then there is um, vogt. Wait, you have vogt Koyanagi Harada syndrome, VKH syndrome, right? Japanese young women autoimmune antibodies against melanin. These the people will have uh, CNS encephalopathy. meningeal irritation i will have some su suguria sign right so some perilimbal vitiligo right lot of other uh, conditions they will have so that is another vogt okay that is vkh vogt koyanagi harada syndrome or disease then you have 
the lucid interval of voked the ring of opacity separated from the limbus by a clear zone so where is this this comes here in uh, arcus senilis so that is what they have shown here lucid interval of voked then in keratoconus you have voked line and corneal stroma voked lines you can see voked lines will be there in corneal stroma look at this can you see the lines in corneal stroma this is in keratoconus so all voked that we uh, we will see in ophthalmology all of them we have mentioned here the whole intention of this video was actually to study what to study voked triad voked triad we saw this right what is this glaucum flecken iris atrophy and slightly dilated non reactive pupil voked triad it happens when after an attack of acute pri primary angle closure that's all for now bye bye